Alright guys, so what's up love? Coming back to today, got a really, really, really um quick document video. I'm gonna do it really quick. I'm not gonna make this that long though. Of course, I really will try not to make it that long. I'll probably go beyond the 10 minute time limit. I usually try to make my videos at least 10 minutes, but it's like yeah, go has got um throw off a little bit of things. But of course, we did some um, new news for global right now. We are getting explosive chain battle. It's supposed to call that on global like rapid growth and stuff like that. They kinda just kept that the same, which I'm fine. I thought it was gonna be like leveling up system or something, like level up um, category or whatever. But of course, I'm back though today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go over this really quick again though. I really shouldn't take that. Let me see. Let me... Well, I hate that. I hate when that happens. But yeah, um, again, there's been kind of spoiling where I am though. I, I, the fans are all the way over there. I'm over all, all the way over here. But of course, though, Goldberg's getting a new um, mode. Got to know about this. This is, this is explosive chain battle. It's a great way to get equipment and stuff like that. You want to raise your chain power and stuff like that. Go ahead. Um, it basically just means like, you know, just um. I think it's still the connector thing because in the um, mode you can get so you have like connectors and stuff like that. But then, yeah. Um, again, I'll go over the mode when it fully comes out and stuff like that. I will fully go over it and break it down like I usually always do when it comes out. I do like, like, see, I don't like to fully go over it though, like, like this though, because then it's like, what's the point of you making the video when it comes out? Just give me the same thing, kind of copy and paste it. Though, in my opinion though. But of course, though, um, again, though, we are getting like, um, again, this is new and stuff like that for global. Again, I don't know why I'm so freaking sweaty doing, doing, doing this. Ah. Ah, uh, face was so freaking wet right now. Blah, out of context. But yeah, again, um, we are getting a new belt, um, a new currency. I'll say Balco. We are getting like a new currency right here. They basically mean um, this is a new currency for the game and stuff like that. Um, uh, emblem of um, co comprehension. Oh, um, co comprehension. Uh, comprehension. Um, comp comprehension. Comp com 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 uh, I can't even say the name. I said it perfectly off screen though. But of course though, um, that's the item right there. We're basically we can get um, with that item we can um, change for currency and stuff like that for equipment. Of course, a better way to get equipment and stuff like that. Or skill levels, whatever one you want to call it. I need to do a full breakdown video for skill levels. I don't know when we upload that video any up uh, yet. I might upload it in a couple more days at times recording. I know it's what I think like Tuesday. Um, maybe I'll do it Thursday or Friday because I'm um, you know go we'll update and stuff like that. It should be coming up relatively soon though, of course. But yeah, again that um, emblem right there means basically use the currency for the um, chain battle. Basically, you get a lot of the currency from the event. The more currency you get, the more you um, open up these um, chest items. Chest items are full of filled with equipment, gold, stuff like that. You know, I think level five gold is the first time we're getting that for global. Say so level five gold and stuff like that. Better equipment and stuff like that. It's like for silver, gold. You get like additionals and stuff like that. I think you can get up to ten times though. Um, then the currency. Um, I think easily like 10 to 50 and stuff like that. I think that's um, the limit you can do in the um, chest and stuff like that. And it is hopefully I come back up with um, in part two. Um, again, though, it's gonna be like part two and stuff like that because it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a week later. Um, again, we should see it um, sooner or later in the game though. But of course, it's gonna be a week later. From the time recording, it should be in about a week or about five more days because um, I know the Kill and uh, um, I'm trying to think. I know the um, new Kill and Cliffa do get their awakenings, not new ones, but um, the Kill and Cliffa, um, right here actually are getting their awakenings in a couple more days. So, by the time it goes out, probably like four on um, three more days. I don't know. But I was gonna say though, I'm not bored, like, seriously, I'm just sweating a lot. Okay, okay, I'm, okay, that's just. My shirt's kind of throwing me off a little bit. So, give me a second. I don't know why, it's just being kind of weird. So. But yeah, I was gonna say, Kill Cliff, but they do get their awakenings though. When they come out, they are really good though. Um, again, they were trying to chain battle, so that, I think that's really why Goba kind of got them. His awakenings kind of just came out of nowhere though. Maybe it's like, okay, let's celebrate chain battles to awaken these girls. But yeah, it only takes like 10 medals from their um, Universal Survival Saga um, story event. Again, it's only 10 medals. So it's super simple and super easy to kind of go through that stage anyway. So yeah, they bring Universal Survival, Universal Survival Saga units and stuff like that. But chain battle just had them fall into like, you know, three categories and stuff like that. They take three categories to um, use for chain battle and stuff like that. Again, I'll go over more when it comes out. But yeah, they were tied to chain battle. So that's the only reason why Goba's getting it. Again, it should be a couple more days because I'm, you know, Kevin Celebration and stuff like that. I'm going to say not part two, but maybe because it's about a week now. Because they, Goba kind of just weigh on top of that type of stuff. But yeah, this is um, currency and stuff like that. Again, though, um, just by doing chain battle, you get the currency. You can send your friends nice and stuff like that um, on friends list. Again, though, um, I love it more when it comes out and stuff like that. Again, the um, supporter friend and stuff like that. Just doing chain battle and stuff like that a lot just gives you the currency. So basically, just doing the event gets you the currency. And you get, of course, this is a good way to get equipment and stickers. And you know, going um, because global thing right into this stuff. JP, we had to wait like I think for JP they had to wait like what, like three maybe two more months after this. So global's getting it right away. So it was great like right after the anniversary because the equipment event, um, this one sucks. Like this one, like this one going, this one came with the five anniversary. It will come back for global though. Um, in a couple more days, I think about a week's time, we'll probably see this come back and up in celebration. Um, this is up, um, you can only do it once a week though, so basically you can only do it once a week. 
Basically, like the main event, event, we do that. If you do that one day, like for example, it was on Monday or Tuesday, when when the next week comes up, you're gonna do it that next day. So yeah, I always do it on a Friday because always like I'm doing it at the end of the week. Again, you can do it whenever you feel like it. I always do it on Fridays because you know um, I like to have it like on a set thing. So like, okay, maybe I'll do this on Friday. Maybe do this one on Thursday. I always do this on Friday no matter what. So yeah. Plus, the thing is like the week, uh, week is gonna end anyway, so it's just kind of really no point. Might as well just do it. But yeah, this equipment event it sucks. Cause when it first came out for global, I mean, it just it's, it just like if you just want to take the longest route to get equipment in the game, equipment in the game, this is it. This is this just sucks. It, I'm sorry, it does. I don't like it. So maybe they realized, like, okay, like, global, let's get some game power stuff. But of course, um, again, they're just doing, just doing, you know, doing, doing damage in this event is the most important thing. So yeah, getting, just getting all this stuff is really easy. Get a way to get orbs and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, getting the orbs, stickers, all that stuff. But these are other prizes, though, by the way. Um, it's like a, it's like a pyramid based, like, for the game. So basically, you know, higher on the, you higher rank on your pyramid, the more reward, the more rewards you get. The more rewards you get, the better they are. The better they are, the better way you can get equipment and stickers. So yeah, like, number one is going to be really easy. Again, though, it's just, it's happened to, like, you had to have three categories out for this. I think it's like Universal Survival Saga, Universe 6, I think, Rapid Growth. Um, I think all the Killing Cliff are gonna be all good for this event. All the Killing Cliff are gonna be good because it has like a red and like blue glow to it. Or basically, um, I think the red and blue glow for like the chain balance stuff like that when you first do it. Um, it will have, um, you know, those characters are gonna be really good though. Like, I know like you can use like selling stuff like that for this event as well, so that's pretty cool. But again, this is a good way to get stickers, um, um, you know, turtle shells. Um, orb and stuff like that. It's a really good way to get this type of thing. I do like this though. I really do like this. I'm ready for it. I've been saying for Global and JP and stuff like that. we ready to do this. It's really simple to get. It's really, really easy and simple to get to it. When it first came out, I was like, okay, you know, information is kind of scattered around everywhere, like doing this and doing that and blah, blah, and blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah. Again, though, um, you know, super simple, super easy to kind of go through, though. It's really simple and easy. Again, though, you know, you're bringing characters and stuff like that, the stronger the character, you know, the, the better, I mean, the better the boost on the category, the better the boost on the category, the stronger the character is and stuff like that. Super simple. They do more damage. The more damage you do, the higher you rank on the pyramid and stuff like that. Higher, higher you rank, the higher, the, more, 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 the better rewards you get. The better rewards you get, the higher, you know, the higher you get, the higher rewards you get. It's like a world tournament in the very first battlefield. If you guys know, the, for the very first battlefield, um, you know, it's like a tower defense based on game if you haven't played the game and stuff like that. I mean, there's like videos online about it and stuff like that. I know leaving each go, I think Jinro did one. Again, um, they had a like, gameplay and stuff like that. A lot of people were discussing it. I think I did, actually I did do a video for Jokin. For everything in Jokin and everybody, like, if you guys don't know about Jokin and stuff like that. There's a lot of things, you know, the new players don't know, you know, like crossovers and stuff like that. Basic stuff people don't know about in the game, you know, what can we add, what can we do this and that and blah 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 blah. Um, I actually did do a video for that. I, I don't know if I'm going to release that video though. I haven't edited it already. I, I think it's like 30 minutes, I think. Um, I have not released that video yet. But yeah, this is Chain Battle. This is how it's going to be structured and stuff like that. You know, better equipment, better items, stuff like that. Um, again, I was talking about it right here. Um, this is how the equipment is going to be structured though. It's going to be like level 4 and level 5. Again, it's like, it's like all the equipment basically. Just better, just like way better though. Like, you know, additional, you know, attack, defense, additional crits, dodges. All that stuff is going to be factored in here. It, it's all like level 4 and level 5. So that's really good though. Um, it's how it's going to be structured though. It's going to be not just gold, it's gold, silver, bronze. Again, all that equipment though. I have seen people get like gold, like all additionals, crits. Again, the crits and additionals are going to be really good. This is again, this is a better way to get equipment and stuff like that. A way easier way to get it and I love it. Because again, the chain battles, I think it's up like usually like a month. I think it comes back, it comes back almost every celebration, like once a month. Um, they always bring it back. I think we only got in... I know Broly. Again, I looked at the video somewhere around here. I know we have the Broly one. That one came out very first one. Because uh, we saw his art and stuff like that. It's like, okay, that could be a good card. Because, you know, Broly does sell well in Doken. Um, yeah, like Broly, stuff like that. Um, sure, man. I know it's like Broly, God Goku. I think God Goku is going to come out first. For Global, it is really, because Global is going to get God Goku first. Then, I think we're going to get probably Broly last or something like that. Because I know Angel Golden Freeze that came out with... I can't remember what he came out with. I can't remember what celebration he came out with. I think it was like Tanabata. So we're probably gonna see him there, maybe. Again, we don't know. It's gonna be structured like, um, but it, but again, it was like every month or something like that. They could save that for later, but I doubt it though. But yeah, because uh, you know, go this. But yeah, a better way to get equipment, a better way to do all this type of stuff. It's way simple, way easy, and stuff like that. Of course, then right here, um, I want to say, um, this is super battle road stuff. It's usually a battle road. There's another way to get good equipment. This house is gonna be structured, you know, crit and of course attack, you know, dodge and defense, um, attack, um, you know, additional and of course on um, health. Again, the, uh, you know, Super Battle Road actually has Extreme Super Battle Road, which will come to Global as well. We'll probably see it in Battle Week as well, because, you know, the Gohan and stuff like that will get ZZA. This, um, the physical Gohan from the OG Super Battle Road will be getting a ZZA from this. But you had, you had to do it every stage of Extreme Super Battle Road. If you guys do not know that, um, Extreme Super Battle Road, 
It's basically the original Super Battle Road, just buffs. It's literally the same thing. It's regular Super Battle Road, they just put buff the enemies here and there. That's really it. That's all it is. It's the original Super Battle Road, just made for like the nowadays era of cars and stuff like that. They do hit hard, hit, they, hit, they can hit like, what, I think it's like 700, maybe 600k? I want to say that. But yeah, of course, going right here is what we're getting is EZA with that, so we'll probably see that in a couple more weeks as well. Again, this global celebration should be really big and packed, though. Like, well, kind of like an anniversary-ish, like, thing, but yeah, more stones, stuff like that, we can save up for the download celebration. Again, Kepler's Banner, I do not recommend something on it. If you want to go ahead and hit those discounts up, go ahead. But yeah, I do not recommend going for that banner, of course. Um, there's no way, good way to get equipment as well. You can get door equipment, like, I think, like, you can get, like, dodge and, like, additional. I think I saw one. I think you get, like, you can get crit and additional, but that's not available in the game. That one's gonna be the most broken one. I get maybe it's in there for like, you know, the category version of these Super Battle Roads right here. That crit additional is gonna be amazing. For physical Vegeta Blue, that's gonna be amazing for him. Um, and of course, the Grand Priest event right here. We'll, be, we'll probably get this in part two as well. I was gonna mention this as well. It's super simple, super easy to kind of go through though. It basically is you're doing this one stage. I think it's like Team Bardock right now. Where we get our, like our second copy of Team Bardock. This is the only way to get it though, by the way. But basically, you can go to the stage. Oh, you can do this an infinite amount of times if you feel like it, though. But you do have to have the Team Bardock members. Um, but basically, go, you can get that um, ticket right there, the ticket currency. You can go in the Baba Shop, where it basically has like, a special summon tab. And that special tab, where basically it's like the chain battle. It, it's in the Baba Shop. It's super easy to get in the Baba Shop. But basically, it's in the Baba Shop. It's um, like special tabs and stuff like that. All this stuff is already in game data. You probably just got to like, press a button and stuff like that before to activate. Because all they do is just translating stuff over like that. But I was gonna say though, um, of course for Bardock and stuff like that, specifically Team Bardock, um, they'll have like their own equipment stage stuff like that. Again, it's only just one. It's like it's, it literally says like stage one, like level one. So later on, like you know, you, like for example, we can get like Game Force equipment and stuff like that. Again, they really didn't need the EZA. Like the Game Force stuff like that. Like these guys need the EZA. I feel like if the EZA is first, then we can see like what they can do and stuff like that. Then we can give them equipment. But they will get their own. They'll get their, their um character specific equipment, like Universe Six character specific equipment. Again, it's not that bad in the game. Like Goku Day One was kind of bad, but I don't know when we're gonna get that. Though maybe they'll tie it to like a, you know like a full Goku you know celebration or something like that, or maybe they'll save it for next Goku day or whatever. I don't know. I mean, because Goku, I think that's the only really big thing. I'm supposed to get like the uh, maybe I think we're supposed to get like the um Lord Slug and Kyle King Goku EZA. That's an um super EZA. Um, I, I know Cooler and Frieza. I know Goku just got Goku. Oh, we just got Goku Black ones. I know uh, we, got, we got it. Um, because they had to rainbow all those dudes and stuff like that for all uh, Goku's EZA. Again, I'll I, I can know. Um. That comes off of Global. Again, that'll probably be like Tanabata. It wasn't tied to a celebration though, but it wasn't your Tanabata, so we'll probably see that in the beginning of December, maybe for Global. I don't know how they're gonna do it though. But um yeah. Again though, uh power here. But yeah, um, I guess that's how it'll be structured up. But yeah, you can only use Team Broderick members first, though. So. You can use the SSR or TR. They're the only ones you can use for the event, and they can easily do it. But yeah, what equipment for this guy is amazing. Equipment is good, but I feel like they should have gotten easy eight first. But again, though, if you do, um, I think if you do it like 25 times or something like that for the missions, you get a copy of Team Bardock. Um, I don't know why I went back up. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 run the event 30 times, get Team Bardock stuff. Okay, I don't know why my thing went back up, that's weird. But yeah, again, that's all we want to go over that today. Again, though, um, there's a better way to get, get equipment and stuff like that. Again, though, we should probably see all this stuff in a couple more days. Again, though, um, the Pulse of Chain Battle really is a good thing, though, for Global. I'm glad, though, because these rewards are amazing. You get enough orbs to rainbow some, um, you know, like, like one unit and stuff like that. Um, you get stickers, a better way to get stickers right here. Um, I did say that in a couple of um, breakdown videos I did for the secret, how to get them for global. I will post those videos as soon as I can though, because again, I've been reco recording so much lately. It's like, okay, I got, I don't know where I'm going to upload this video, I don't know how I'm going to put this here. Then I get distracted with my other videos, it's like, okay, I got to upload this, that. I don't like doing, I don't like really doing like two or three, four or five videos a day. Because I can't get guy tiring a lot, but I do, I do like doing like two or three maybe. But yeah, um, maybe I'll get those videos out as soon as I can. I love the global, J I love the JP update video when that came out. I'll probably release that when global gets theirs. A little bit. But yeah, I could go ahead and end the video here though. But yeah, both of Chain Battle coming to Dokken um, for Global and stuff like that. What do you guys think? I think it looks nice. I think it looks great. Great way to get equipment. Great way to get some new currency and stuff like that, of course. Again, we'll go over when it comes out. We got Kill Crypto's Awakening coming up soon. But yeah, pretty much, up, pretty much good though for the Global update though because in the Global, you'll be pretty busy for the next couple of weeks. Again, um, JP's kind of really quiet right now, but I'm kind of glad though. Uh, we'll probably see like a part 2 LR or whatever because I think the ultimate Gohan celebration is going to end in a couple more days, about 10 more days. Not more days by the time this goes up. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, really good update for Global though. Again, the chain balance, stuff like that is going to be really good. I like it. I think it's really good, stuff like that. Of course, but yeah. See you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All cool junk. Again though, but yeah. What you can think about Chain Battle? What do you think about the equipment update for this? I love it. I think it's a really good update for Global. I'm glad they're doing stuff like this. Heading into a different direction where we're having a new mode and stuff like that. Because they did actually have a survey for Doki. He's like, hey, do you want new mode? Do you want Dragon Ball Hero Joker Fest units and LRs? Like, yeah. Stuff like that. I actually did do a video for those. I like them somewhere around here. But yeah. 
Um, even though I'm gonna probably forget, or whatever. But yeah. So, 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 so you got. Oh, my throat. Again, I thought I was like, there for like a second. I don't know what happened. This. Ooh, give me a second. I thought that really dropped for a second. I don't know what happened. It's like I was talking and my throat got, got kind of dry. But yeah. See you guys over though. Again though. Peace out.